So now, I've used these resistors in uh, some videos before and have a number of other uses that I kind of want to use them for. They have these long wires though, and that uh, is a little bit obnoxious for making videos. Now, these resistors, they cost about a dollar each. So, not too bad. I bought 20 for a little more than uh, $20. And I think it was like 25 They also came with uh, these connectors right there. So you have a long wire, and you end up uh, taking one of these shorter wires and uh, slide them you know part way in there and then when you clamp this down it connects those two wires together basically makes parallel connection and then that closes on it so you get uh, one of these resistors and two of these connectors it's really common in uh, kits and if you buy more of them it's a little cheaper uh, per unit but in any case um, I kinda want a setup where I have this connector like that I don't really want to deal with the uh, stranded wires though so I want to attach a ferrule so this was one I tried to attach it to a wire that was too small um, here's a 12 gauge and I, I screwed it down um, they kind of bent into shape right there which was uh, actually okay for holding it in place but I kind of want to add one of those and to shorten the wires so that uh, it's a little more compact so now I thought these resistors came with uh, 14 American wire gauge but this is 16 American wire gauge 16 is smaller than 14 and uh, it's kind of hard to tell on a camera but uh, the insulation looks like it's about the same size I have this tool it can uh, cut wire if you want it cut it and it can also strip it for these ferrules I believe you want to set this about halfway of its uh, maximum you know the longer ones maybe you can add a little bit more um, so we will snip that off uh, right there and uh, compare the uh, wire size and um, so this one's bunched up uh, looks like 16 gauge might be even uh, bigger so now here's my container with the ferrules and the uh, kit here also came with the uh, crimping tool it was uh, packaged separately but uh, yeah there you can see the size uh, with the colors there's two that are uh, I think the same color but um, you know one's a whole lot larger than the other one it's not hard to confuse them so now, instead of using the uh, snips on here, which, which are really nice right there, they're not as accurate though as uh, other snips. I can't find my just snips. These players have snips on there. that do the same thing right there. And uh, actually, it's uh, not gripping as good. But in case, there we go. Uh, we finally got it. And again, I'm going to keep the tongue in the same position. I think this will be a good uh, value. So the reason why that was way off, because I was looking through the camera instead of uh, watching it in person. So that's why my aim was off. Uh, but yeah, there we go. We got wire, and uh, again, let's compare them. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell if that's as large as my uh, 16 gauge right there. This is tin, so it's kind of soldered together, and uh, maybe that's just bunching them up better. So now, I'm pretty sure I crimped ferrule to uh, this 16 wire gauge. Uh, a lot of times, you just give a slight twist just to kind of keep the strands together and uh, slide this on right there. You're not trying to twist them up, just uh, get the strands together and then slide it in the crimping tool. It's auto adjusting for um, pretty much any uh, size, I think. You can make uh, some adjustments. But in any case, you should be able to tug on it and it not pop off. So, hoping for the same thing with this one. And uh, again, this one's tinned, so the strands are already uh, held together, uh, so uh, we're not going to worry about that. And uh, yeah, I could have uh, took a little less insulation off right there, but the uh, insulation stopped it. And uh, I'm going to try to put it so no strands are coming out. But yeah, pretty straightforward. And since this looks smaller, let's see if it holds. It's holding. I'm pulling uh, pretty hard right there. So now, this is an inline connector. That only connects to that one right there. We don't have to worry about uh, these other ones uh, becoming uh, connected. And also, I strip the insulation off while the wire is still attached to the spool. That way it holds the strands together. And um, if these were thicker, I would uh, screw down uh, one side as a stop. Um, but it looks like uh, we don't quite have enough room. We could trim the ferrules with a, a snip, but uh, to make them less long, and uh, they're kind of butting across each other enough where they're leaving just a little bit of metal exposed at the end. It'd be better if I could get the insulation in there. And this is a Phillips uh, screw in there, but the standard will work. I'm kind of 
coming out, I'm not aiming as good as if I was uh, not looking through the camera right there. Kind of gripped the uh, screwdriver. That's weird. Um, but yeah, we uh, can still get a solid connection right there. And I can tug on it. It will not pop off. So now, that uh, basically our test run. I'm going to uh, get this, as long as I'm about halfway, will be perfectly fine. And then, so it's going to kind of naturally already be in the position that I want it. And then slide this in, and I uh, cut the wire. And again, I'm going to try to set it up so it kind of naturally wants to be in the position that we're going to finally uh, put it. And I believe removing this much insulation will be uh, pretty good. Strands are already sticking together pretty well, so we'll just uh, spin on the ferrule once I get a uh, decent aim on it. And we're going to crimp it. Now this is going to be a little bit longer than I want, but we're going to trim that down coming up. But otherwise, we got our crimp. So now, here you can see how much better this would fit in if it wasn't butting up against the other ferrule. So we need to remove a little bit, but not a ton. So I got uh, my pliers with the snips. Again, they were what cut the wire uh, before, but uh, there you can see. And uh, I think I'll go to uh, where uh, one notch is right there. I think I'll remove that much uh, from both uh, sides. And that one actually came off pretty easy. I tried this on a larger ferrule, and uh, I did make multiple attempts but uh, I think that'll be enough so now I did the same with the other side right there and I think this makes a, a better looking you know single unit uh, kind of for a resistor now um this has not been going as well I uh, reattached another ferrule because I cut off I think too much of this but in any case it looks like we're still uh, not long enough so one thing I did is uh, before I inserted the uh, ferrule from the resistor I lowered the screw all the way on uh, both sides right there and uh, there we go I wasn't uh, quite getting into the thread so it's a Phillips screw and I'm using a standard screw so um, it keeps jumping out you can hear that so now we're gonna raise this right there and um, that should be raised enough but uh, yeah this uh, appears to be hitting the other one even though I already trimmed off some so I'm going to trim a little bit more uh, right there and uh, there we go so hopefully that's enough now I uh, there's a rubber stopper there so I ran into a problem uh, before I didn't realize there was a rubber stopper so yeah, I'm hoping uh, we got enough metal right now uh, where we can uh, tighten this down and then uh, connect to the metal. Again, I should be using a Phillips. I'm just uh, bouncing around the top. There we go. Finally got a good uh, connection. Yeah, I can feel it, the ferrule moving. And uh, yeah, I think we got enough metal there. So good enough connection. So um, ran into some minor problems, uh, but uh, there we go. We got a uh, direct connection across uh, from there and uh, there's not much metal this one's in farther there's no little uh, stop above it and um, so this one I don't know if you can knock that out or something so that uh, this would slide in a little bit further but uh, in any case this is good enough for my purposes and also you can just put a metal in uh, or a wire in without a ferrule and then you won't have to worry about that stop as much but in any case uh, that's it hope you enjoy Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.